Hello McWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. Guys, we are playing some more missions today, and I would say our Vulture has proven its worth already. I think we can make it a little bit better, uh, but that's not the point right now. I think I just want to gather some more equipment right now in order to, yeah, just be a bit more proficient later. So, um, also, yes, you said it, uh, and I'm, I think you're totally right. The Uziel needs to be phased out. We need a bigger mech to actually do the job. And we could think about putting the ATMs in this guy, giving it a little bit more accuracy and, as a result, more efficiency on the battlefield. And that's what I want to do as well. Question is, are we doing it right now or not? I think we can do it. Also, another thing that I quickly want to check, because you mentioned it. Um, you said that I'm skipping... Uh, my pilots that are in fatigue whenever I'm upgrading but that's because when they are in fatigue their skills are lowered and as a result I cannot upgrade right so we have five gunnery two piloting four guards and four tactics with one day of fatigue let me see if that's still true here uh let me go back to barracks look at Bjorn now he is at seven gunnery four piloting four guards and six tactics so pilots in fatigue are not really upgradable because they were losing they were losing some of their skills and uh, it's not really completely represented what they actually can do so i mean i can do it like now give him some piloting but actually i think i want to give him more tactics or more gunnery so we're gonna save those points okay let's go ahead and take a look at mr uziel because that thing wants to be upgraded with 80 amps let's give it some let's give it some goodies here yeah all right so we're gonna take the srms out all of them the ammo as well and we're gonna put the bigger, better weapons in here. The problem will be... Oh, yeah. They have four slot... Uh, three slot items. And we cannot put another ATM in the core. Oh, this is rough. I mean, I can run two of these. Great. And then still one SRM here. But we are already getting to our boundaries. We had to drop the medium lasers in order to get this going. Which I think is not worth it right now. I believe this is definitely not worth it no so we're gonna find another mech ideally a heavy mech that can run some more atms and have a good time with it i know my archer could run it but i think the artemis build that we have already is pretty good so let's go ahead take a look at the command center i want to see if we can play a mission or two mm, uh, i mean escort this is fun are we ready for a broad ferret assassination four skull i don't think so honestly you know what we're gonna play the three skull recovery and if we have time still then we can play the three and a half escort i think that's a good idea playing against steiner or the starlick defense force yeah we are on the on the right path to victory here so guys we're gonna click confirm and see each other on the battlefield command interface initiated let's get going Part of me really, really wants to see a support lance here for our enemies because, uh, you know, we only have one target zone. So I really hope that we can get some good salvage. And what's our drop limitation here? Holy crap. We cannot really get close to the base from the get-go. I mean, we can start from here possibly. Yeah, you know what? Let's start right here. I want to be in the enemy's face because we got some real good damage here. And I want to see if I can overheat a single mech today while we are concentrating our damage on other things to take down. So a bit of control and a bit of damage. And that's our game plan right now. As per usual, we're going to use our flyer as a scout. And we have a hunchback. We have an Orion. We have a fire starter. And we have a grasshopper. Look at this guy. It's a 5P. It's, it's not great, but... Uh, something something that we could utilize also orion 1v it is a pretty decent mech to run atms on yep atms and something also uh yeah they have a support lens i see a talon hello talon let's go guys let's get things going let's go in with the waka and get into cover so far so good turn on dni i didn't forget very proud of myself grasshopper coming in Getting directly into the line of sight. Oh my god. If we get initiative over him next round, that's gonna be amazingly good. So, sensors. Tell me what we got. Hunchback fire starter. Yeah, that's what we know already. What about this here? What about the supports? Is it the Talon only? Who knows? Who knows? Uziel wants to jump and brace. It is a frontliner, so let's put it to the front line. It's a quite squishy frontliner, to be honest, so it's not really that well protected. The Grasshopper, my Grasshopper, wants to move fast this round. We're gonna probably end up in the Spore Cloud to get a bit of extra defense. We can run through the Spore Cloud right over here. 
Nine evasion, stealth, cover, spore cloud. We got everything. Good. Finan, stay out of the fight for the moment. We're gonna bring you in later. You're a bit too squishy, to be honest. And then the vulture. Cannot get to cover here. You could just decide to move and brace. Free evasion is not the most, but I, I think it's gonna be all right. And we're gonna make... Yeah, you know what? We're gonna make a little shuffle here over to the right side. Also three evasion, got it in uh, cover. Seems good. So it's on. Let's see what, what we got here. We got a grasshopper on the 17. We have Jamie on the 17 on the Wacker. Okay. All right, we might get something done against the hopper before it can initiate. Maybe we just want to wait for him to do a thing. Also, what's the hunchback running? Double ballistic, you see. Huh. First shot. Double large laser. Good to know. This is a thing that I'm not really too afraid of, but we have to deal with it later. Or, let's say, eventually. So, he's not really grinding us down too much. And you know what? I'm gonna stay in my defensive position right now. We are 5 evasion plus cover. Seems good. I'll keep that for the moment. Give him a turn, and then we're gonna unload on the grasshopper. See what he's doing. Anything at all? Oh, it's the hunchback. Look at him. Look at him go. And nothing. Alright. Let's get back down here. God, camera is a bit janky. Grasshopper is moving. Grasshopper is not firing. Alrighty then. I'll take it's such a beautiful mech. Let's be honest. I love this. But I I'm I love the design of the grasshopper. I think it's aesthetically pleasing, but I don't really like the build. That was a thunderbolt. Who shot it? Who shot the T-bolt? Not the Orion, that's for sure. Or it could have been an arrow kinetic kill? No, wait, these cannot be shot in direct line of sight. Ah, so. All right, I could go melee. I'm gonna do it, but after the grasshopper. Uh, sorry, after the Orion. Actually. Let me try something. Can I get into the back of the Orion and drop some bombs on him? Alright, the answer is no. So I think I'm actually gonna wait completely. There's gonna be nothing. Absolutely nothing to be done until the Orion has taken its turn. Maybe he's opening his back towards us. And that's what I mean. It has three missile hard points. Two of them on the arms, one on the side torso. So triple ATM6 is a good build that we can totally slap on this guy. Plus an auto cannon, even and some lasers. All right, so now the fun begins. Let's go. So we're gonna start out with with. Sorry, the game is a bit laggy today. Ah, I think I want to start out with this. Let's see what I can do. Is this an archer? It is. Oh, that might have been the guy that shot us earlier. We're gonna go high explosive on this guy completely this is where i just want to try to kill no fast cam actually let's go well we got him knocked and unsteady also i think i need to change the order of my of my weapons using my small lasers to cut him open and then the bombs to crit him out something like that but yeah let's go we have two percent fail chance nothing bad is gonna happen right and we're gonna not shoot any weapons doesn't make any sense here let's go Gonna punch the hopper in the back. Hopper versus hopper. Great, we hit. That means we're gonna keep our evasion. And we killed him. Straight through the head. From behind. Lethal damage. That's a full grasshopper. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. I will totally take it. Great. So we're gonna take the Talon out as our next target. Using hero. Dealing optimal damage each missile. Thanks to its multi-breaching shot thing. Great. Now. This is a good spot to be in. Um, this would have... Oh god, this is an interesting spot to be in. We could hit the hunchback in the back, but I don't think we're gonna kill this. No. We're gonna unload on the Orion, because that's where we have a hit chance. So let's do it. Right. I really feel like this is going to be in a rather easy mission. Oh, by the way, this is a... Oh, I didn't see the burn. I only saw the impact. So they shot probably thermal bolts on us. Or could have been 
No, Inferno arrows are probably bigger in template. I am actually not sure. I am actually not sure. So we want to kill here, so we go standard. No overheat right now. I don't care. Stay on one target. Take him down. Even overheated him. 179 heat. That was because of a weird ammo explosion inside. That was not my pirate missiles. Uh, fire! Kill. I mean, we got the energy weapons down. He is basically disarmed. A large laser. I'm looking for a spot to actually get a line of sight, but we don't get it. So we're going to keep going. All right, this round is going to be a bit interesting now because the enemies should have mostly the initiative because we hesitated very, very long time last round. Lots of reserving means uh, very low initiative now. Fire start us running, and rightly so. Talon is running towards us, trying to hit us with his head or leg or whatever. Ah. Hmm. Yeah. Can I get to a spot where I have perfect... Yeah, I have perfect hit chance here. So, it's not like perfect perfect, but it's better. Uh, we don't have enough for a sensor lock, sadly, and this guy is stealth right now. But our knock could play around it. Potentially. This would... This time I'm gonna go Inferno, try to give him some heat, a little bit of his own medicine, and in fact he is Narc now. Alrighty. He might not shoot all of his weapons because of this. You'll see. Punch back. Two light auto cannon tanks. That's a pretty good build, actually. Ooh, light auto cannons are good, by the way. They are really good. They are lighter than their counterparts, they're regular, but with only a very, very little drop of in damage. So you get a lot of value out of these. Oh no. Grasshopper is being overheated and made unsteady, but they have no follow up anymore, right? No, no, we're good. We're perfectly fine. Into the mineral field. Uh, sorry, spore cloud we go. So we now have to sadly shoot indirectly. Oh uh, man. Guess we're gonna finish this. Same hit chance. No, it's not the same hit chance. Slightly better. Is it? It doesn't matter. No, it's 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 okay. We're gonna use it to kill the Talon. And we didn't even get it. Oh my god. Uh huh. At the very least, he is stressed. So is Wizard, and we need to turn off the hard seed. we need to turn off the Supercharger this round, and try to stabilize ourselves again. This might just be a little hop into a safe position, which is totally here. Hello. Gotta brace it up. Yeah. So. Certainly want to shoot the Archer. That's important. Gotta take this guy down. That is unsteady. I love to see it. Hmm. Is the Talon gonna kick me? Probably, but he's not gonna hit me. Not really. Nah. It's not gonna happen. I know that this is a very risky position to be in, especially with my stability problems, but I think this is uh, still a worth it. Right. I wish I had multi-target right now, to be honest. Um, the left side of this archer is not really broken, is it? Might be. Might be. It's a hit chance on the fire starter. It's just, this is not worth it. Man, I cannot really bring my heat online because enemies are about to get killed and then I should probably just kill. What we can do is vigilance. That's helpful. It's really good for initiative next round. Let's go with standard damage. Arrow 4. Okay, that's what I was looking for. It was an actual arrow carrier. Alright. So, one of these arrows is destroyed though. That's good. <laughs> we can take this very long shot. Which actually... For a second it was 88% or something. Now it's 33. Yeah, it's alright. That would have been nice if we hit that. Okay, next round. 
We should have very good initiative now. We gotta run through the fire and flames, but still. I think this is worth it. So let's see what we can do. Pretty good hit chance against the Hanshi. And the Hanshi is fast, so we're gonna take this guy out first. And you know what, just for snacks and giggles, we're gonna go incendiary. Wanna see how much we do. Oh, we have Typhoon? Okay. Fair enough. That was pretty good anyway. That was really good. He's cooling. All right. All right, all right, all right. You, you try to get something done with that amount of stability problems and that amount of heat. You're not going anywhere, buddy. All right, Talon is moving into the water. No problem. All right, we totally play another mission after this. I think this is kind of in the bag already. Unless they have some stealthy guy that I don't see on the battlefield yet. Might be something. Somebody hiding. I don't know. I'll be 10x on the Firestarter Omni. Man, it's a 45 tonner. I mean, uh, it has some. It has some value. It has some damage. What to do with the Waka? Waka Waka. I don't really want to end up in the fire and flames, but I guess this is what we do here. Okay, finish him. It's the end of the archer. Complete destruction. We probably only get one part, but I probably want to get another part of this. Most likely, yeah? Unspot. Alright. So, Kaspar, please go ahead and kill this, alright? I don't want to spend my whole day catching that fire starter, so you better try to get it done. Mm, and I do believe that the missile is gonna be better off in the bottom and so is the bomb gonna drop the mines as well question is do we go inferno for him to overheat a bit so that he is not that mobile next round now nah, we go directly to high explosives by the way for all of you guys saying that the narc launcher should be the first thing to fire so that the other following weapons have a better accuracy as soon as you click the fire button the accuracy is locked in it doesn't change anymore so Accuracy dependent items are completely irrelevant in order, but damage dealing items like acid first and then more damage later so that if the armor is melted we get more damage output from the following weapons, that totally works. Uziel! Uziel, Uziel, Uziel. Where to go with Uziel? Gonna kick him. Hopefully we hit the hunchbot. That's a miss. All right. Weapons away. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> all righty, all righty, all righty. So we have the Talon and we have the the other guy. You know what? Is this the remains of the Hunchback? Yeah, it is. It totally is. Uh, I want to jump around a lot now because I want to really keep up with the fire starter and take him down. And in the meantime, we can do that. Bam. Base plant in the water. That's how I like it. And then we're gonna just go in here. The rest of the crew... The rest of the crew tries to get some damage out at the very least. Let's try. Actually, Vigilance might be good. Actually, Sensor Lock would have been better. Yeah, taking that evasion away. But hey, this way we can fire again. Just play the same song again. It's a symphony of destruction, baby. Now he's unsteady. And we have even more follow-up with Jamie, who can go LRM if needed. Stand and shoot. There's no point going any further. And you know what? We are, we're going to use Warlord on that. If we hit lag, it would be perfect. That's a full Firestarter Omni. Uh, all right. Why not? So, we, we basically have it now. Now, the only thing that we need to do is get in here. Let's go, Bjorn. Okay, done. Okay, done. And done. And again, we can go home now. So, quick mission. That was good. We are getting some more heavy mech parts. And I don't know if I should pick the Archer or if I should, should start building towards an Orion. What quirk does an Orion have? Is it anti-air targeting? Does he have something like that? 
I think so. So he's gonna get a little bit of uh, evasion ignore if I am not mistaken. Which would be nice. Oh, we're gonna decide when we take a look at this. The money output was really low. So I think it just basically covers our expenses in terms of repair. But let me see. An Omni Firestarter is worth a lot. It has the Cowl bonus, which gives you more armor on the, on the face. Which didn't help the pilot using the eject button. Grasshopper is a thing that I don't want another of. The other guys are below. Okay. Arrow 4. Wow. This arrow has a lot of crit effects. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Flamer, no. LVX, no. LRM15, no. PPCs, no. C3 Slave, no. Cool and Flush, no. Endosteel, no. Double Heat Sings, no. Uh, uh, yeah, some Protos. I mean, we have some. Got some already. Inferno ammo and regular ammo. Probably also no. So let me take a look at the Orion. It's anti-air targeting, as I was saying. It also gets long and extreme range accuracy. That would be nice. That would be really nice for us. Uh, XL engine is good for money. It's a very nice uh, econ pick. And then one part of an archer. We got two already. Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? We take the XL for econ. We take the Orion. Command console. Could be good on a heavy mech. Two initiative for everybody. It's, initiative is so, so well. It's so undervalued. I, I really do like initiative. Uh, increased side range is good. Sensor range is fine. Company accuracy with indirect fire is massive for everybody. I mean, we gotta go like artillery if we play this. Uh, modify scatter. Yeah, totally. Like arrows and thunderbolts. That's beautiful. Resolve per round. Oh god. Just one flat resolve. Two injury resist. One, two sensor probes. Plus five bonus to sensor detection. This is insane. Enables targeting up to three units. Also, multi-target. Hey, baby, let's go. Reaching shot as well. That's a nice combo because if you split your targets, uh, split your fire, and you get benefit from reaching shot on each target. Um, do I take this? This is a good item, but it's also very costly. It takes all of your cockpit items or cockpit slots. And it's six tons. It's very heavy. And I want to play around with this. But I could also take another double heatsink kit for econ reasons. Let's get some money, actually. I think this this cockpit item is it's good. It doesn't give us accuracy. That's also a thing that I don't like. You know, initiative and resolve and all of that is good. Don't get me wrong, but I want to hit my stuff. So I think I'm not going to run the command console. Not really. You know what? It could be on a support mech, like a dedicated support mech. Command console, lots of AMS, uh, I don't know, like Pagnark, whatever. Um, hmm. We don't have a mech for it right now, so I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna take the econ path. Here we go. Archer Firestarter, Hunchback Orion, good to see. Okay, LBX is fine. LRM15 is fine. Medium laser is, is good. It's the workhorse of the weapons, but I'm gonna sell it. RE small. More damage to armor is exactly what we want on the on the flyer. Open them up with small lasers, ideally the ones that deal more damage to armor, and then follow up with some splash. Basic cockpit for the win, fusion core. We have two of them, so we're gonna sell it. I love to see an engine heatsink upgrade plus one. Uh, again, the XL, we can sell it. We have enough double heatsink kits. We have heavy jump jets, which we're gonna keep around a bit more. Six light jump jets, the small ones. Get out of here. Arrow ammo. Yeah, fine. That was good. Don't get me wrong. It's not super exciting loot, but um, again, we got our economy. We got like, what? Three quarters of a million sea bills now? Like 750,000, roughly? Roughly. I mean, with the XL engine and the double heatsink kit, we already got like 600,000. Um, I guess. Something like that. And then some, you know, some splash on top. Uh, it seems good. It seems very, very good. And then also... One more part of an archer, one more, or the first part of an Orion, that means that we can push towards more heavy mechs and maybe get our ATM build going. That would be very nice, I would love that. Could make it even jumpy to actually get into short range so that we can use our high explosive ammo. Would be nice. 25,000 sea bills for repairs, only three days. Yeah, man. We basically made yeah, roughly a million sea bills out of this, plus the parts of the mechs. This is why I love going for going for salvage most of the time. But we're gonna put the money to good use, and that's... Oh yeah, we have this now. Okay. Uh, and that's uh, how we do it. 
We have um, a slight change to Super Heavy Max now. They don't show up randomly. Oh, the missions don't, don't show up randomly anymore. You have to actually get an MRB console to actually spawn them. It's alpha level access. Basic MRB contract console that allows bidding on all standard contracts and flashpoints. Bidding. I have no idea how this works, it's mechanic wise. And it doesn't cost us anything, so I guess I just purchased the basic one. Uh, does it take time? Yeah. Good. So we have that now. The next one, the Epsilon level access. Enables super heavy conflict and challenge contracts. Aha. Unlocked through an event. Yeah, it costs us a lot of money. 20 days to complete. And... We cannot get it yet because it will be unlocked through an event. We'll see how that works out for us. So in the meantime, I think... I mean, we have all the, all the uh, tech upgrades. We could go for drop size. But I guess we don't need to. You know what? Let's go upkeep reduction. That's the thing that will bite us in the butt long term. So the 5% reduction is going to be really good. And we have something to build. That doesn't even cost us so much. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. All work orders complete. Everybody is... I think I want to wait for Popo. Popo. Everybody is ready again. So we're going to dive into the next mission. Ooh. A new one has emerged. It's a blackout for Skull. I don't think I want to play that necessarily. You know what? We play We play the Escort. Three and a half. It's an Escort. Nah. Sorry if I hype you up for the Escort. Uh, I think it's gonna be too long for the video. We're gonna play another one of those. It's, it's gonna be fine. You know, a bit of salvage haul so that we can get better items. Maybe we find a new mech or so. Um, anybody who wants to be swapped out? I think Popo doesn't need to. Magpie really wants another vehicle. Which is also a thing that we can uh, potentially think about. We have one open slot here. And we could buy a vehicle if we wanted to. But hey. We're gonna see if we can find something on the battlefield. So, we got two bases today. And because of my high lands value, I believe we're gonna fight another support land. So, it's gonna be three lances that we have to fight off, probably. And I wanna go over to the right side as quickly as I can, destroy what I can find here, and then deal with what's behind the hill. And yeah, because of all the mechs that we can see here, there is... Yeah, there is very little tonnage on each mech. We see commandos, we see trebuchets. I don't know what else was there. A raptor? Oh, that's that's good loot. That's very good loot. Hetzer! Okay, okay. We probably want to get a Hetzer or magpie. So, uh, Grasshopper, let's go ahead and jump. That's the thing that I always forget. The Grasshopper can jump and brace first round. This is a very good defense mechanism. Uh, hmm we move and brace? Yeah, probably. I don't think that these guys will have so much accuracy and damage, so I think we should be fine. Commando should be one of the first guys to take down, because these little guys have very little armor, but a lot of firepower. Jump to the flank. We also see a Raijin. I love the design of this guy. It's so compact. Sorry. So compact. Uh, it's just very pragmatic, you know? It, it is a a mech that is just designed to function. There's nothing fancy about this guy. It is two missile launchers on two legs. And like a cockpit in between. This is also why I love the longbow. Uh, Spectre. Okay, cool. So brace it up. We have our decoy set up with 13 evasion and guarded state. Uh, large lasers. Sure, to the front. Let's go. There's a tank. Probably was the heads. Uh... No. No, no, no. There was something else. Edsa and the technical didn't move yet. This guy's running a howitzer on a 20-ton truck. What? Look at this guy. I don't know if you can see it because it's a bit dark. This guy is crazy. We need to take it down quickly because, you know, glass cannon. Big glass cannon. Move for four and brace. We have the Spectre coming in. Stupid stealth. But we can work around it. In fact, we might not even shoot our weapons with our flyer with the Phoenix next round. And maybe, just maybe, use our sensor ping. Okay, is this a yellow jacket to the left? Totally is, right? Come on. A fusion! Oh god! Oh god! Okay, the support lands actually bring some value. 
Oh my god, so many prime targets. This is gonna be an interesting fight. Also, there is the raptor. Right. Is this the MRM raptor or MMS raptor? I think this is like a 20 rated medium range missile weapon. Panther has some problems though. Totally fine. Totally fine for us. Oh boy. You know what? I am going to reserve this. I will actually go ahead and use my uh, sheath beacon to ping. I, need, I have some targets that I want to take down early and quickly. One of them being the Fujin and one of them being the Spectre. So let's move into this area and try to actually send something and see how this goes. So turn 12 is probably gonna be where we start our action. Spectre's running. Nothing from him. All right. Uh, do we let the fusion do a thing or do we inter intervene now? I think I'm gonna do it like this. So, if I have a hit chance, I'm gonna try to hit this helicopter. But if not, it's gonna be totally the sensor ping. And it will be, yeah. So, click that button. Ping! Oh, here's another one. All right, all right, all right, all right. So everybody, let me see what that is. Seems to be the same thing. It's another fusion, they have two of them. It's crazy. But now we should have a hit chance on them. So let's go ahead and see what we can actually achieve. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Gotta take the helicopters, somehow. The Raptor is very hittable now. It's Artemis MML-10. I don't... I didn't know you could put Artemis on MMLs. Interesting. This is the problem. This is what I'm afraid of, you know? Gauss Rifle Clan, Medium Improved Heavy Lasers, l and Light Anti-Air Missiles, Mind Dispensers, Quad Missiles. Thing is dangerous. Big time. Hyper Velocity Auto Cannon 20 is basically as dangerous as the Gauss. Let's go for this guy. Hmm. That was underwhelming. It was not even whelming, it was something. Got the tiniest bits of plasma on him. Here's Howie. Yeah, the Howitzer 2000. So, turn 13. We got some more damage where that came from, so let's go ahead and drop it right here. On this helicopter. Oh, I was so hoping. I was so hoping that we could take him down. But hey, there's even more. Come on. Gotta drop the heat on them. Not the Raptor, although I really want to hit him. I want to hit the Fugen. I think I'm gonna like, go LK for the hit chance. Let's do it. I know that incendiaries technically deal more damage against them, but I want to also keep my incendiaries for later. Great. So this guy's down. It was good. But there is another one of those. Let's see what we can do against them. Here's the Raijin. Wait, Fujin and Raijin? There's something going on with these? Something kind of rings in my head, but I cannot really put my finger on it right now. Uh huh. So here we go. Who's yell to the front? Oh god, I really want to hit the Raptor. You know what? Let's be real. We wouldn't kill the Fujin right now, right? But there's a chance we kill the Raptor, so we're gonna go with that. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But there was damage not wasted. Yes, we have to give the Fujin a turn. What else? Pribiche. We have AMS, so it should be good. Ah, it seems like he dropped one big and a bunch of smaller missiles. 30 in total. What the hell was that? It's Narg and double LRM. Oh, God. okay. And three mediums. It's a good trap. It's a very good trap. Same problem here. Really want to attack the Fusion, but the Raptor is just a better target. I could also hit the trap. But no, never mind. This is a very good target. Okay. On the Fusion. Let's go. Now I'm kind of sad that I didn't attack him earlier, because that would have been totally a kill now. But with a bit of luck, he's not gonna move now. 
Somebody else might take uh, the initiative over him. And then we can shoot him again. Damn it. All right. Okay. Uh, he's not shooting. All right. All right. All right. That means that we still have a chance. 65. Let's go. Got him. Nice. So the big helicopter's out of the game. Oh, by the way, that's two fusions, right? We can fuse them together to actually build them. That would be a nice vehicle for Magpie. Like having those guys on our side, I would love that. There's a Bradford as well. That's a nice tank. Thunderbolt 15, grenade launcher, machine gun heavy. It's a nice midliner. It's a good one. Also, it comes with a sheathed beacon. Oh boy. Very nice. So there's definitely some value here. I was kind of, like, sad that we didn't... Uh, that we didn't get so much uh, good salvage on the board, but now I'm actually all about it. He dropped smoke on us with the grenade launcher. And then... Realization uh, struck me. These are support guys. We cannot salvage... The, the units from a support lance. Right? I think I got overly excited. I'm gonna take the Raptor next. Don't wanna get hit by that. Yeah, and I need to finish him now. I need to make sure. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I think the quad missiles are gonna stay for the moment. I'm gonna give him a bomb. Like one of them. And the Narc. Dead? No? But knocked. Yes, the knockdown. Uh, the MML is down. And after the knockdown, he's not gonna really do anything. It's gonna be fine. Also, negative one initiative. That might matter. It might. Alright. So, we have to finish this flank. And I want a trebuchet to go. You know what? I'm gonna go incendiary again. Let, let me try to overheat this. Finally an overheating. Let's let's go for it. This is what I built the mech around. Oh, so many missiles. So much instability and actually a good chunk of heat. 57. Great. <sighs> XL engine, XL gyro, radical double heat sink it. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go for leg. One leg down. I wanna keep this around, just to have some loot on the table. Fail to stand up, perfect. Yeah, without arms? I mean, he doesn't have low arms, uh, the raptor. And only one leg, it's really hard to stand up again. And then there's one leg crit. Mm. He has some problems. That means he's just gonna completely skip his turn. And then I'm in this weird tension field again. I could leave the trap there, but I kind of want to attack it. Take him down. Huh. And I hit the techie. Uh, let's, let's hit something on the flank, I guess. He's not going to really shoot me, is he? Again, multi-target would be fan-freaking-tastic. Freeman Commando. Don't care. This guy has basically no armor, so we can take it down quickly, but I don't think we have the accuracy to actually matter here. You know what? I go for... Sensor lock? Yeah, we got sensor lock. Perfect. I go for the Ragin. Negative two evasion. Direct line of sight. Perfect hit chance. Let's go. Alright, got some damage out. I love my AMS. It is so damn good. Good, 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 good. Wizard. I don't want to use my supercharging stuff yet. This is going to be a jump. Gives us a bit of stability issues, but... Uh, let's go with accuracy instead of rate of fire. Which is weird. Our accuracy push pushes our uh, range brackets. So that we are now in minimum range and our accuracy goes down because of that. Ah, okay, then I'm not going to shoot the other one. That's fine. The important thing is that we give the trap a little bit more heat. 
so he doesn't get any any weird ideas here. Good. Next round, we can now go for melee attack if we win the initiative over him with our grasshopper. He didn't move that far because of the heat. Ow. Who's that? As a result, he has, like, no evasion. Only one. He's gonna be an easy target. Who's yell? Hmm. I mean, Raptor has to go, but I think our Cloudbuster can take him next round. What we want is the Bradford. A bit risky what we're doing here. But I like the risk. Let's go. So, Panther 33... Uh, Bradford also pretty bad. What's going on here? We jumped? No sensors. Ah. So the Sheath Beacon is a problem here. Okay. No active skills on Bjorn yet. And we, we can hit the head, sir. I guess. We better hit something this round. And then maybe next round we can stomp on the Bradford, take the Sheath Beacon out, and uh, take the sensor scrambling away. They even start dealing damage to their own, so that's good. I love it. So, target zone, we don't matter. Uh, or these don't matter to us right now. Not yet. Not yet. Getting tagged, not good. So, here we are now. Entertain us. We have a bunch of good targets. Let's get out of the smoke. Um, we are on par with any... Oh, the Grasshopper. We are cannibalizing our own targets. That's the problem. If I destroy the trap now, our Grasshopper has no target, really. I don't know if melee is good on him. I mean, we have a pretty big open map right now where we have that kind of problem getting into position. Okay, I'll do this. Actually, it's gonna be Typhon and then Incendiary later. Let's go. Acid, acid, acid. And then damage, damage, damage. And a lot of heat as well. Right, pretty good. The Raijin is basically out for the moment. Uh, hmm. I also want to get into the fight up here. So we move and shoot backwards. Luckily, we have a turret. Couldn't quite get him. Punch out. Too much stress? No, not yet. But again, the Raptor is on the ground. He's not really a big threat to us. It was just a low-impact hit that we tried to use to finish an enemy that is almost dead. Decent hits against 11 evasion. Not bad. Streak LRM or SRMs. Okay, that makes sense. Don't want to end up in the smoke. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh, this is actually good. If we leave him unsteady, they're gonna prioritize this guy in turn 14. Then the initiative swaps over to us again. Then we can use the Grasshopper before the Trebuchet uses, uses an action. That is perfect. Um, that means... We're gonna move over here. Try to hit the Freeman. That's too hot. It's definitely too hot. Engine crit. All right. Oh, he's also unsteady now. That gives us a lot of time. Beautiful. Huh. Finishing the Hetza or using my flyer to kill the Bradford or even the technical. Let's go for the Hetza. Let's do that. My explosives here. Let's drop the mines as well. It's a target down. That's what matters here. Goodie. Very, very nice. Yeah, and now we can try to go melee, which we totally can. Hell yeah. Uh, we probably want to kick him. And end up in the forest anyway. Okay, this... Can go for a back strike. From here. Nobody is in our backs anymore except this guy, so we should be fine with our positioning. Let's go. Hit him where it hurts. Come on, take him down. We need 120 damage. Got it. This is what I call progress. It's so good. Enemies are dropping fast and, and we are getting the upper hand big time. Yeah, it still hurts a bit, but it's not the biggest of deals. I think the stability issue is the bigger part of this. 
All right. So, turn 14. They ended turn 15, so we are going to initiate turn 14. That is beautiful. Don't think that we even need the supercharger, but let's use it anyway and go ahead and punch this. Something is wrong. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I cannot abort this. Give me a sec. Ooh. For a second, I thought I was locked into a failed attack. So punch, 92%, 240 damage, and let's go. Hit him hard, and hit him good. Or miss completely, that's also an option. <laughs> oh no. Uh, that's not what I wanted. And all of these guys are gonna unload now? Oh man, at the very least we keep our uh, evasion of five. Hello. Ow. It hurts. Okay, that's an overheat. Is there anything else that we can do this round, or are we just done? Now we have one more unit. And that is Hero on the Archer. Turn 12. Freeman. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh yeah, the Grasshopper suffers big time. That was a good hit. It's gonna cost us a little. So the only thing I hope that is the Trebuchet is not putting back too much so that he's not gonna use his LRMs. Okay. LRMs, regular ones, inner sphere ones, have a minimum range with a horrible penalty to hit. So don't knock him down, that's what I'm saying. Okay, we're good. Out of ammo. We need to swap those. Yeah, I always forget about that. So it's time, guys. It is time to finish it. We're gonna start with what? I guess I over-twisted. At the very least, we have another target that we can take on. It's not the target that I wanted. Totally not. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, let's go down here. Finally finish the Raptor. Did we get both legs? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Good news is the smoke is gone as well. And we're gonna take the target, which is next in initiative, which is the Freeman. Which we didn't kill. That's alright. A spar. Really wonder if I should join down here. I'll do it. Uh, we should have sensor lock, so we can now go for the Freeman again. Sensor lock this guy. Get a nice hit chance out of it. Also negative to evasion. Uh, no bombs, obviously. Because we don't want to hit our friend. Right, we got that guy. So we're going to work our way down in the initiative order to make it so that the, uh, the enemies don't have a turn anymore. Turn 8 is fine. Yeah. So hero... Go up here on the hill, get the perfect hit chance, and take this guy down. Yeah, almost. Almost. 17. What the hell was 17? Who is running battle armor here, huh? So weird. So the Vulture has to do a thing. Yeah, the Raijin is overheated right now, so we don't have to worry about him. And this guy is in a hot state, which means we should deal more damage. Yeah, 7 damage from him, LRM 5 now, instead of 5 damage. That's good. These pirate things, they actually work. Let's go... A little bit of LK, a little bit of standard ammo. Just tear him down. Oh yeah. Just like that. So... The panther gets an activation. Oh, there's the, the spectre that I totally forgot about. That's the guy. Yeah. So, that was very little damage. Now, we are going to use our Uziel to hunt down the technical here on the side. Taking him down so that the howitzer cannot hurt us anymore. And then... Uh, turn 13 a spectre actually oh yeah 
That guy is gonna get a turn. And then we're gonna use our melee mag to go for the Raijin to finish him. That's the plan here. Hmm. Let's go ahead and punch him. Hopefully we stabilize. Come on. Need to hit him. That's good. That should be it. Big stack pole, and that's the battle armor. It's a phalanx. Pa phalanx? The phalanx. The obvious choice would be attacking him with bombs from above. Okay. No sensor lock right now. So we could... We could go and use our sheath beacon so that the follow-up damage would be there. But I guess this is the way. We're gonna give him a hard time with flames and mines and everything. And somebody else can use the sensor lock later. Jumping behind is not an option, but I can jump around like crazy. Use vigilance. Very important. Stabilize ourselves. And then go for Mr. Panther. Alright. Alright, that's not the effect that I expected, but it's the effect that I'm totally fine with. Nice. Uh, we let him overheat before we do anything else. Okay. Bullet Trap has the sensor lock ability ready. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to take him down. So we're gonna go sensor lock. I believe this uh, phalanx is part of the lands that we have to destroy. So might as well do it. 30 LK, that's good. Just want to make sure that I have enough ammo for each launcher. And that is not even a kill. Alright, I expected more. Panther shut down. He actually manages his heat? Wow. Crazy. Let's follow up with some damage. That's the thing that I should have done earlier, by the way. Increasing my amount of bullets that I shoot with my machine guns. Okay. Turn 17. Here's the battle armor. But they take some burn damage when they move through the fire. But that's that's very positive for us. Next. Out of SRM ammo. Huh. Why not? Why the hell not? Gonna start dealing some damage to the Spectre. Wizard with the Radical Heat Sink Kit kicking like a boss. We're gonna turn all of the, uh, off all of the hot seat shenanigans. These guys don't like plasma, but I don't like battle armor. Uh, I guess we're gonna stay away from this. This is fine. So, can we shoot some of our PPCs. I can try to go with an accurate shot. Pretty effective. So nine and one health. That means that if they move through the fire again, they probably die, right? Here's the Spectre. Doing Spectre things, taking away my stability now. But that's fine, because there's no follow-up coming from anywhere. Yep. Now on steady. Now we go over here. Hero doesn't have enough for a sensor lock, sadly, but his accuracy is good enough. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's try this. Finan has sensor lock. Go for that. And playing around stealth is such a big deal here in this game. I also go vigilant, why not? Um... It's just crazy. Sensor lock is such an important thing to have in either form, either on the pilots or in form of a beagle probe or something like that. I actually need to go for a kick here. I want this guy down now. Hello. Oh yeah, goodbye. That should do it. It does not. Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna stay away from the battle armor, that's for sure. 
I mean, it, we don't need that much anymore, anyway. So, 15 LK, uh, one, 1 LK, we got 15 incendiary, rest is standard. Here we go, that's the kill. It's not even a kill, it's an overkill. Oh god, yeah, it is. Oh my god. Got some heat here. It's so toasty, all the time. So, another kick coming in from the side. We hit him. I cannot wait to get to the loot table, by the way. Your side torso is gone. It's toast, man. And you are as well. That's the overheat. I wouldn't have thought that taking down the remaining enemies is gonna take that long. Uh, something broke. Was it the panther? Yeah, okay. Panther is down. And so is the battle armor now. Get wrecked. So, we finished it. Guys, everybody is now off the battlefield. And that means... Uh, oh god, we gotta get out of the fire. That's what it means. And brace it up. Uh, hero is fine. We don't need to do anything here. And let me take a look. Uh, Bjorn, I want you to jump in here. Nice. And then we're gonna take Kaspar to jump in here. Yeah. I love when you have mobile units that could finish the objective just like that. So easy. Alright guys, I know it was not the greatest challenge in the world, but it was a challenge anyway. And we are here to gather some loot and build more mechs. And better mechs. Or... Getting that vehicle. If it's possible, I don't know. I think it's not. I don't think that the fusion is gonna show up on the loot table. Because what is part of the support lands and these guys are not salvageable. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. 153,000. I think this time we have to actually invest it into repairs of the grasshopper. It was big. Big damage here. But yeah. I see five parts of a Bradford. Again, this is not a, not a bad tank. Like that we can shoot indirectly. It's accurate missile weapons. That's good. And it gets a bit more accuracy later. Like a lot, actually. Hmm. This is interesting, but we would start from scratch to start building one of those. So we could pick four parts now and hope for the fifth. That's an option. The Fugins are here. I would totally take these, right? We have anti-air targeting, so negative one evasion. Oh, one evasion, ignore. Uh, these guys get negative signature, visibility, and one local ECM, as well as more evasion ignore later, and more evasion generated later. This is good. So what's the difference between those? We have the O and the OD. The O comes with the Clan Gauss Rifle, which I love. Medium Heavy improved. Uh, light anti-air missiles times two. Mine Dispenser. Ah, this is meh. And more quad missile, as well as one flare. With 110, 175 armor, 6 and 9, same quirks. This comes with a hypervelocity autocannon 20, the same laser. Also light enter air, double quad missiles, and also one flare. Huh. I think the Gauss one is better. I do believe so. Anyway, let's let's keep going. Let's keep looking, guys. This is double LRM-15, which is good damage. Uh, we don't have heads up parts yet, though. Cargo trap, I don't care. Grenade launcher is, is okay. These are light anti-air missiles, right? Not quite as potent as air-to-air. -air. Uh, arrow missiles introduced by deliverance. This is much smaller air-to-air -air missiles. Okay. Air-to-air, -air, not anti-air. Okay. No, 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 no. How much damage? 40? And then 10? Structure damage? Not bad. Plus 8 accuracy against VTOLs. Negative 8 accuracy against ground units. Sure, makes sense. I I like him, but we can also get them on the Fugin. Uh, more quad missiles is fine. Advanced optics is really good, but yeah, Sheath Beacon, Chameleon, all of this is extremely good. Composite, hey man, the value is great here. Predator is fine. Uh, quick sell stuff is... I, I don't care. Peel and stick. Uh-huh. Tactics. Upper Hardened. Inferno, SRM, Inferno, Acid. Uh, SRM, Inferno and SRM, Acid. That's how you say it. Uh, TSM, Raptor, 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 Raijin. Ah, we're gonna take a Fujin. 
So let's get a veto on the battlefield. I will take most parts of the O and then hope that we get one more part. And the cool thing is we have a bunch of hit chances here. We have three chances out of all of these to hit what we want. Come on, fingers crossed. <laughs> let's see. Commando, commando. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, perfect. We have a flyer now. That is gonna make a difference. Medium X Pulse, love it. Street Quick Cell can go. Do our last Quick Cell can go. Heat Sink Removal. <laughs> if you have a lot of slots, you can squeeze out a ton with this. Because um, a Heat Sink is usually one ton, and this thing saves you five tons. But also strips four Heat Sinks from your engine. That means you need to pad it up with external Heat Sinks. It is a thing that could make sense, but I don't think so. I'll sell it. Single heat sinks, hooray. And we even get the SRM ammo. Alrighty. So guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, then as always, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want more of this. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.